guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. If you have never been to our channel before, we are all about the food. We do taste tests, what's for dinner, grocery hauls, and recipes. So tonight, um, I cooked some frozen corn. I am still trying to use up stuff that we have in our freezer, fridge, and pantry. So we had some frozen corn, so I used that, seasoned it with some butter, salt, and pepper. And then um, I also made some slow cooked, boneless, skinless chicken thighs. And I added this slow cooker sauce. It was our first time trying it and it was really good. So I added three pounds of boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Then I, I cut off most of the fat from the chicken thighs. And then I added this entire jar. And then I cooked it on low for about eight hours. And this is what you get. And Howard and I tasted it and it's very, very good. And then I wanted some baked beans, and we had some baked beans in the pantry, and I used the bushes. And whenever I make baked beans, I always doctor them up. So what I do is I use a little bit of bell pepper, and then I add bacon to it. So what I did was I fried my bacon up about five or six, five or six slices of bacon, easy for me to say, and then, Using the bacon grease, I added some bell pepper and then I sauteed all of that. And then I added in the baked beans and some barbecue sauce. And um, then I crumbled up the bacon then I poured it in a pan and then I baked it for about 20, 30 minutes on 350 in the oven. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, just want to show you what we are having for dinner. Um, we are trying out a new restaurant and I'll start out with mine. We are having, I mean, I am having um, Thai fried rice um, with chicken. And so there's some green onion, some carrots, a lime wedge and some cucumber. And Howard is having red curry chicken. He's got some steamed rice and some red pepper and chicken right there. And then we are also having some spring rolls. So this is what's for dinner tonight. See you guys next time. Andrea went out to dinner today. So I have, I'm have i having leftover uh, hamburger helper. I also made some uh, greens that she got from Trader Joe's. Uh, this is the uh, greens of Trader Joe's. Kale, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, green cabbage and red cabbage. So there it is. And eh, leftover hamburger helper. But that's what I'm having for dinner today. Hey guys, so tonight I am out um, to dinner with a friend. And so this is her plate. She got the smokehouse combo with ribs and I can't remember what kind of corn that is. Do you remember? Okay, she doesn't remember either. And then she got a cheesy barbecue chicken. I think that is toasted bread, barbecue sauce, broccoli. We got some chips for the table. And then here is my plate. I got fajitas. I got a combo fajita. And I got steak and shrimp, black beans, rice. And here are the little um, cheese and tomatoes and all that stuff that go on top of it. I can't remember if I mentioned that I am at Chili's. But anyway, this is what's for dinner tonight. We'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having this crunchy butterfly shrimp from Kroger. And we are also having um, pastaroni. I used to make this on the, all the time and it's on some of my other what's for dinner videos, but we really love this stuff. And the box is two servings, so it's enough for one meal. And then we are having um, some green vegetables that Howard made the other night, so we're having leftovers. And the mix is from Trader Joe's and it has kale, cabbage, Brussels sprouts, um, I think that's it. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight. And we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I am having something out of our freezer. And it is by Chef Jen. It is shrimp Alfredo with Parmesan, butter, and garlic. Here's what the picture looks like. Now I have seen this at Walmart and maybe some other places, 
But I actually got this from Kroger a while back ago. They were clearancing it out and so I grabbed this one and another flavor. I can't remember what, what it is now. But this is what it looks like. It is a microwave meal. There it is. And Howard and I tasted it and it's really good. I mean, it has a really good flavor um, for frozen meal. So I was really surprised about that. Again, here's what the box looks like. And so Howard is having um, leftovers tonight. I don't have a picture of his plate, but he is having that hamburger helper spaghetti um, that we had earlier. So he is finishing that off. So this is what's for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time.